They'll look to throw here on first down. And oh, it'll be intercepted. And the Bucs are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. Well, he's certainly not been afraid to take some chances downfield. Now, look, it's paid off for him a couple of times. That time, not so fortunate. And that's where I want to start, what you said. It's paid off a couple of times. So his aggressiveness has been good for his offense for the most part. So he throws an interception there. No one likes that but I would not rein him back in. The return on investment thus far has been pretty good. Two touchdowns to one interception. Well, Rashad White and the rest of this Tampa Bay offense going back to work now. He's already cruised past the 100-yard mark. We haven't even gone away for halftime yet. He might not want halftime. <laughs> all right, why cool off? Keep everybody here. <laughs> Let's stay out on the field and keep going. But all that being said, everything is really working well for them. The play calling's been excellent. The blocking's been terrific. And obviously his vision and legs have hurtled him to this big number so far. We could be seeing something really special here. And we'll see how much they give him the ball here. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Up at the 29 now, they'll head to the line. Second and a yard. They'll go up the middle with White. He can't get him down. Seven yards there and a first down. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. Slant route going to be caught by Palmer. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. Good work after the catch. Going to net him 23 and a first. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 41. On the handoff, this is White. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. Mayfield now. He's got Otten. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. A yard in the wrong direction makes third down tougher, third down and nine. In today's NFL, we're accustomed to the tight end getting downfield and creating plays and wreaking a little havoc in the secondary. Not on this one, though. They diagnosed that one really well. Tried the dump off, lost yardage. Mayfield from the gun on third down. This is caught by McMillan. And he's going to be out of bounds down around the 35-yard line. So five yards here, five on the play. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. Chase McLaughlin now for the field goal try. From the left hash, this will be a 52-yard attempt. And his kick is absolutely perfect. And they will open their lead up to a touchdown at 24-17. So, Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal. And anytime you give the ball up, what's the first thing a coach tells his defense? Don't let them score off of this. You've got to put out the fire. In fact, in 2021, that's what one NFL coach termed his defense, the firemen. Go out there, guys, and don't let them put some points on the board. After the main field goal, here's McLaughlin back out there to kick it away. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. Dallas offense set for this next drive. 
But not an ideal way to end their previous drive. They threw the interception, Charles, after they had built up some momentum. They were moving the football, but something to at least build on for this offense as they run back out here. Yeah, you're right about that. Up until that last play, everything was working pretty well for this offense, gaining chunks of yardage, getting first downs, really making a push for the end zone and looked like they had a nice rhythm going. Now you got to have a short memory here. Don't focus on the interception. Focus on what came before it and get back to it. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. First down yardage on the first play of the drive. Give him 14. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. Now rush. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. Normally being a big-bodied receiver plays to their advantage downfield. Go up and make the catch, take the hit, and pick up yardage. But in this case, the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp. Rush. Open man is Mingo. Complete. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the Bucs 41-yard line. A nice pickup of 17 yards. But one of the ways that quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. So from Buccaneer territory now, it's first and 10 at the 41. He finds his man complete. That's Ferguson. Call it a gain of six on the play, and that'll bring up second down. Now that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. That could have been a huge play, but give the defender credit. Stayed calm, stayed collected, and kept himself in a position to make a play on the ball without a penalty. The Cowboys on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This is third and four. Rush working from the gun. It's caught. Tolbert. And he will have a Cowboys first down by about a yard. It's a gain of five on third and four. They'd been moving the ball well, but this drive was in danger of stalling out. Fortunately, this is a nice throw here, and they're able to pick up a new set of downs. First and 10, and they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. Here's Rush to throw. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. They had their backs up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple of more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. Here's second and 10. Back to throw again. Going up top. And oh, it's incomplete. Oh, that would have been six points, but somehow he couldn't rein it in. Oh, that's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. But that's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up. Converged on his man and broke the play up. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. A short one there taken in by Ferguson. And this will not get close to the first down marker as he's brought down at the 26. It'll go as a gain of four, and it'll be fourth down. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line, but once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. Well, in a close game like this, obviously you want the touchdown, but certainly they will take the three. And they'll be okay with that, but let's throw a little credit to the defense as well. I'm just glad this doesn't come down to a debate, right? Which side won, partner, because the defense, hey, we didn't give up a touchdown. The offense, hey, we put three on the board. Either way you look at it, I think both sides gained something out of that drive.
So after the made field goal, back out is Aubrey to kick this away. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. The Buccaneers offense and running back Rashad White set to take over again. And he's been a tough man to stop in this first half. He's putting up some big numbers already, and we have yet to reach halftime. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had a field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? <laughs> <laughs> not one that I've ever met. And it's a real luxury when you have a guy who can turn a short throw into a solid gain at any moment. Once he caught that ball, he ID'd where the open grass was and got there in a hurry to pick up a new set of downs for his offense. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Look, all any running back wants is a little bit of room, a little bit of space in order to maneuver. But he also understands how difficult it is for his offensive line up front. So if they give him any space, he realizes his job to make more out of it than what they give him. Picks up three on that carry. Opting to run again here with White. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. 124 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first half. I'm not sure how much more evidence they need, partner, than to understand that if they don't start to slow him down, it's going to be a long afternoon here at the stadium because he is just shredding them at this point. And let's face it, coming into the game, they knew he would be the focal point of their attack. This is going to take an 11-man unit on the defensive side to start making plays. He'll find McMillan here. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. The Bucks passing game looking good on this drive. It's a first down. So many times in my career I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. Throwing Mayfield. To Shepard, complete over the middle. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. And now at this point in the first half, you've got to realize as an offense, you're not going to get it all back in one fell swoop. This is going to be about sustained drives and making sure you finish with points. And that's a good throw there for a first down. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. In motion, left Shepard. Mayfield. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. It's all pretty simple sometimes, isn't it? Go where the defenders are not. And he does exactly that. Makes a nice catch to move the chains. Defense, got to find a better way of accounting for the shorter routes that are being run against them. A chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal. Mayfield looks to throw. And in for the Buccaneers, touchdown. From three yards out. And the Bucs are able to add on to that lead. A nice connection there, finding his target, and that'll put six up on the board. Just like they drew it up in their playbook and reiterated it on the sidelines, right? Perfect route, a good throw in the defense. They had no answer for that right there. McLaughlin now to add the PAT. And that one pushes the lead up to 11. 
So this drive spans seven plays, and it ends with a touchdown for the Bucs. Following the touchdown, here's McLaughlin to kick off. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape up past the 30. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, and this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. Throwing to start the drive. Rush over the middle, hauled in by Lamb. Now the Cowboys going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. To throw is Rush. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Ferguson. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. Well, this hasn't really been a first half to remember on either side of the ball. But I think this kind of makes this an important drive. You'd love to get this back to a one-score game if you can. And that's good work there to get some yardage here and pick up the first down. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Now a second and six. Throwing here, Rush. That's over the middle and caught by Mingo. Seven yards there and a first down. They'll look to throw again. Flush to his right, and he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a halt. The Cowboys signal for their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with 13 seconds to play in half number one. Here's a second and eight. Looking to throw. Rush. Under pressure, and he will go down. Sacked back at the 38. It's a loss of three on what should be the final play of the first half. So we've reached halftime in a wild first half. We'll take a minute to catch our breath. As we send you on over to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. It was a solid first half for the running back, Rashad White. He's over 100 yards rushing for the game already and found the end zone twice as well. Both of these offenses had their share of high points in that first half. Each team had some big moments, and it would seem this could turn out to be a game where the last score wins. All right, Coach, thank you very much as we welcome you back for quarter number three.
It's the Cowboys who get the football first, and they trail here as well as we resume action in the third quarter. And he's all the way up across the 40 and down at the 42. Great return. The Cowboy offense set to go to begin this third quarter. And Charles, they trail here, though not really the fault of this offense. No, they certainly did their part in the first half. But when you're in a shootout like this, you definitely want your defense to play better, but you know that's out of your control. All you can do, keep putting points on the scoreboard and keep giving your defense opportunities to make stops. Throwing to start the drive. Rush fires a slant, complete to Tolbert. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. Now the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And Zeke will have a Cowboys first down as he'll be taken down at the 46. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. On the run, it's Dowdle. And yeah, good work there in open space. And he's got this all the way down now to the 32. 72 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. The more football I watch, the more I want to check and see if teams are going to panic when they're down on the scoreboard. And this team has shown no signs of doing that. A lot of the time, they come out after the half. Things haven't worked so well in the first go around. They want to throw the football like crazy. But the way to open up throwing the ball is to run it. And they've run it well here to start the second half. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Finding Tolbert here over the middle. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Operating from the gun. Rush. He'll get this to his running back, Dowdle. And they'll work this down to the 15 for a pickup of four. This drive, it's been a good mix. Three passing plays, three runs. Hitting on all three of those passes, and the last one putting him in the red zone. So wouldn't you think play action right here? Because you've got the ability and had the ability to run it and throw it. Go play action and take your shot at the end zone. Back to throw, Rush. He'll find Lamb. That's complete. And the Cowboys are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. Boy, everything clicking on this drive. He's four for four now, and that throw may be the best of the bunch. This offense is really humming, and they pick up another first down. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Again, he'll drop to throw. And this is caught for a Cowboy touchdown. Jalen Tolbert with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Cowboys have got it back to within a score. I know Paul Revere talked about by land or by sea, right? You know, one by land, two by sea. He didn't mention air because right now we're seeing a big-time performance, aren't we? That's two touchdowns so far in this game. Where'd you pull that one from? And, you know, every now and then I actually listened in history class. <laughs> and you're just a scholar all the way around. You're reading all the time. I like that you fit that into the broadcast. <laughs> you know, I just grab a nugget when I can. Well, I guess the coach looked at the two-point cheat sheet, said go for it, get it to a three-point game, and they did it. Yeah, and so Sometimes you just throw out time of game. You don't worry about that. There's just a feel sometimes in making that call. And he felt good about what he had for a two-point conversion. And now they're only down three and feeling great about themselves.
So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. The visitors' offense and their quarterback set to take the field once more. And as we show you some of the highlights from earlier, he has been instrumental in getting his guys the lead as he looks to finish strong and close this one out. The Tampa offense ready to get their drive started. But Charles, they still have the lead despite their defense giving up a touchdown on the previous possession. And even though they have that lead, it feels like a back and forth ball game where to try to get momentum back, maybe they need at least three here on this drive. I think you're right about that, Brandon, because your game plan doesn't change. But I do believe your urgency does because of the last score that went against your team. So what you want to do now is have your own drive and try and make sure that that momentum stays in your camp. Running out of the gun with White. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they are playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. Two yards to go, second down. On a handoff, it's White, and he stopped after a gain of one. Not enough. Still a yard to go on third down. Brandon, we talk all the time about those hybrid players, guys who could do more than one thing, and I think if you're playing strong safety in the NFL today, you are a true hybrid. Part linebacker, part cover guy. And coming up, sticking his nose in the mess there and making a nice play defensively. On third down, a run from White. And he's got enough for the first across midfield to the 48. Brandon, they're still in the lead, but momentum's certainly been going the opposite direction. So to me, that's a really important pickup there on third down. Try and regain some confidence. And you're right, they need to stem the tide a little bit. That certainly helped. They run straight ahead here with White. Now they nearly sprung him that time as he takes this all the way down to the 37. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. on this drive so far. It's first and ten. They will run with White out of the shotgun. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. And when you get good yardage like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. Ball on the 30 now. Here's second and two. Now Mayfield. And there's a short one taken in by Otten. And he'll maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. So he stopped for no gain. And this will wind up being a third and three. That was impressive to me because while it was a pass play, they still rallied to the football like they were filling running lanes. And they were able to put the receiver on the ground. Read option, this is White. And he's able to get the first here as he's taken down at the 25. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive, because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense getting a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. They go right back to White here on first down. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. 
They've called his number a lot this afternoon. You wonder how much tread is left on those tires. We certainly do, but I always think back to one of my favorite coaches in the NFL. And he used to have a meeting with his running backs every year in the offseason and say, look, as many times as you're going to carry the ball, you should be able to carry it one more time. So make sure you get in shape. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Well, that's not a run that's going to make any of the highlight tapes, but they've been moving it well all game on the ground. This is another one that keeps them moving forward. Now third down and seven. To throw Mayfield. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. He's starting to fall into the category of not fair because when he's on target throwing the ball, he's dangerous. But when you add in his ability to make plays with his feet, <laughs> almost impossible. Yeah, exactly. They've had trouble stopping him in the secondary. This time they've got the great coverage. Oh, he can run too. They'll try to throw here. Mayfield. This is White on the screen. And this play gets blown up. They'll lose yardage back at the 17. So it goes as a completed pass, but they lose a full five yards. You know the key to a good screen pass is, don't you? But you're going to tell me, good blocking? Well, good blocking eventually. But first is good acting. You want to let the defenders go past you, leak out to whichever side or even in the middle where you want to set up the screen, and then you do your blocking. How about the read, though, by the defensive guys? They weren't fooled at all and actually ran with the linemen to where the play was and smothered it for a loss of yardage. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. He's having a big game through the air, and sometimes those smart decisions just dump it off. That's how you continue to have big games through the air. I agree totally. That's, that's a great analogy, a great way to put it, because he doesn't get too greedy where everything has to be pushed downfield, trying to create big plays that aren't there. You dump it off and take that. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Buccaneers. Baker Mayfield. A six-yard touchdown run. And the Buccaneers are able to widen their advantage. If you're going to play quarterback in the NFL, you've got to have great vision, and you've got to remain calm when things break down in the pocket. Both of those traits were on display there. He surveys the situation, sees the middle of the field open, so he's just going to step up and take it himself. Very well done there. McLaughlin for the extra point. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. That one was an extended drive. 14 plays all told. And it's capped off by a touchdown run of six yards. Following the touchdown, here's McLaughlin to kick off. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Cowboys offense and their running back getting set to go once more. And you have to imagine this defense saying, how do we stop this guy? He has run roughshod through him to this point in the third quarter. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. As this offense comes back out here, Charles, they're trailing in this ball game, and they've been on the sideline for a while. They did score their last time out, but they just had to watch that long, sustained drive, so we'll see if they can shake the rust off. Yeah, and that's always a, a question that you have when you have to come off the bench after having sat there for a long time. Are you ready to go? Are you loosened up? But even more so, are you mentally alert and ready to put your best product out there? Now second and five. Out of the shotgun, Rush. A short one there taken in by Ferguson. And he goes out right around the 39. It'll be a gain of five. 
And that's going to make it third down and less than a yard. Let's not quibble about the gain there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives them a much better opportunity to convert on third down. From the gun, they'll try to run it. Brandon, what were they thinking on defense there? That looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to them. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you ought to have a few men in the box there. They stay on the ground, but this time it's Elliott. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that feeling like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. They go play action with Rush. That is caught by Lamb. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. 90 yards receiving now for him in the ball game. It's a first down. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. The challenge flag is out. Todd Bowles not pleased with the ruling on the field and he's going to ask the officials to take another look. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I, I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. So the challenge there does not go their way. This will indeed remain a completed pass. down they'll go to the ground attack and if there was a lane there it closed up quickly as he stopped for no gain second down as usual the hallmark of a good run defense linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage absolutely nowhere to run there so after the run for no gain here's second and ten now rush he lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And that is caught. Touchdown, Cowboys. C.D. Lamb, 41 yards. And the Cowboys have cut it back within a score. They went empty backfield, all their weapons out wide, so there, there really was no secret here to what they were going to do. No secret, but they still had to execute it, and they still had to protect the guy throwing the ball because oftentimes when you empty the backfield, people bring pressure at you. They manage to hold. And now, of course, all scoring plays are reviewed, and I think they're going to take an extra long look at this one. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds, and obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds? That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review, so they had it right. Aubrey now for the point after. And the lead is down to a field goal now. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And it's finished off by the touchdown from C.D. Lamb. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away.
And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The visitors' offense and their running back getting set for this next possession. And as we roll through some of the highlights, we see how crucial he's been to their success in this one. When he's in this type of a groove and his offensive linemen are creating running lanes for him, he can really put on a show, and he's done so here. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. Still enjoying the lead here in the third quarter despite their defense giving up that last touchdown. Now they'll see if they can get the equalizer here on this drive. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 17 yards is the pick up there for number 17. As they began this drive, I was wondering how they were going to attack since they're playing with the lead. Would they continue to try and push the ball downfield? Well, after one play, it appears that the answer is yes. Here's Mayfield. Looking downfield, and that's caught right side. He's got his man. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. Boy, 30 more yards and another first down. Oftentimes now, offenses aren't nearly as precise as days gone by. They just tell receivers, find an open patch of grass and let the quarterback find you. And that's exactly what they did on that play. First with the pass through the air, nice chunk of yardage there, and then additional pickup with his legs after the catch. Working out of the gun, Mayfield. Got a man and he hits him in stride. The result, only four yards there on the play. And that will bring up second down. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tougher, guys trying to get to the football. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. Normally you think the tight end is going to be able to catch the football and handle that contact. But in this case, maybe a little too much target to hit. That one was timed well incomplete. In motion goes the tight end. Mayfield with it once more. And that is incomplete. One of the best routes, one of the favorite routes of any play caller. He just ran now a nice little angle route. That's supposed to be a catch, and usually it is in the running back drop. Yeah, I mean, he's a running back, but he's got hands. He should have caught it. And his kick here is good. And that will add three more to their lead. It pushes it up to six. So give him three on that drive. You know, normally you'd say, we'll take it. But the way points have been flying around, it feels like a little bit of a letdown. Yeah, you just have to wonder, are field goals going to be enough? Because as you pointed out, the way touchdowns have been scored, does kicking a field goal actually put you at a disadvantage the rest of the way? After the main field goal, here's McLaughlin back out there to kick it away. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Cowboys offense and C.D. Lamb ready to take over once more. And you see the numbers for him into this third quarter. They just pop off the screen. He has been open throughout. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. For this offense, Charles, remember the last time they were out here, marched it nearly the full length of the football field, and a lot of the attack went through the air, so now they're seeing if they can duplicate that performance. Okay, if I show my age a little bit, partner, because I can hear my high school coach, John Ford. I can hear his voice in my head. Laddie, when you put the ball in the air, three things can happen, and two of them are bad. But the way the game's being played now, 
This is just part of what they do, so I don't think they should change anything at all. They've been dominant. Keep throwing it around. And it's incomplete. His back has been a dependable safety valve all game, so he went back to him when his first read was covered. Just unable to connect, so the play results in no gain. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Rush working from the gun. To the right side and intercepted. Picked up by Jordan Whitehead. And the return stops at the 39-yard line. Well, I don't want to take too much away from his performance throwing the football. He's got the four touchdown passes, but this now a second interception of the ball game. And partner, part of what's gotten him the four touchdowns is a certain fearlessness. But that fearlessness borders with recklessness, and the latter just occurred. Offense heading back out, and with them comes Rashad White. He's closing in on 200 yards on the ground with the fourth quarter still to come. We're in the third. Good shot to get there. And now he's got to make sure he convinces his coaching staff to leave him out there and keep touching the ball because when you've had that kind of a day, there is a tendency to think about getting him out and saving some of it. Running backs never like to save yardage. You know he's tapping his quarterback on the shoulder. I'll take the ball again, please, right? Not turning down any carries. First down, here's White. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. 38-yard line, second and nine. Mayfield now. That's complete to Palmer. He'll get it inside the 20, and he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. The catch and run, good for 24 yards. This offensive game plan has just been sensational. I mean, when you think about all the different ways they've gotten their receivers open so far, it's really been impressive. Scheme, design, execution. Mayfield to throw it. That's again complete to Palmer. And the Bucs are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. And remember, this drive started off following the turnover. And they've taken no time working their way down the short field. A nice connection there. And now they're looking at a first and goal. White is into the end zone for a Tampa Bay touchdown. Well, this offensive line has really stepped up to the challenge here because those Mastodons, they've been sensational clearing holes all game long. And this is great work down here near the goal line to give their back the space he needs to work his way into the end zone. Todd Bowles leaving his offense on the field. They're going to go for two here. Mayfield going to try to throw for the two. And he is into the end zone to bump the lead up two more. And with a successful two-point try, the QB rolling out, I would imagine on the defense that makes it tough. When you, he goes out, he's got the option to run or pass. Yeah, it really does. If you decide not to bring extra people or extra pressure, maybe you have to have a spy on the quarterback, someone to account for him, because oftentimes that is the unaccounted for player. Following the touchdown, here's McLaughlin to kick off. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. We've seen him be good so far. He's hoping to continue that trend here in quarter number three. And typically when you see guys running it this well, they see the game in slow motion, don't they? They see the cuts happen. They see the blocks happen. They feel really good about their vision 
and then they use their legs to find that open space. And he's had some good help up front to boot. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Trying to shake off the interception, he'll look to throw. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Second down and a little more than a yard here. Play fake. Here's Rush. Able to hit his target, Lamb. And he's going to be stopped here for no gain. And that's going to take us to the end of the third quarter of play. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Arlington. It's the Cowboys in possession of the football, but they trail here as we begin the fourth quarter of play. The Cowboys on third down. They're at 50%, four for eight. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. And they'll run on the inside handoff. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they get five there on third and two. Now, yes, a two-possession game, but a good chunk of time on the clock, so they have the ability still there to run it on second and short, but maybe they need to pick it up a bit. You're right. They did pick up the first down there, but they, as you mentioned, they have to pick up the pace now because it's a two-possession game. They've got to get there twice to make sure they have a chance to win. It's caught. Tolbert. Now he's loose again, and he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Jalen Tobert, 53 yards. And the Cowboys have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. So that's a really big play here in the fourth quarter. And don't look now, they're right back in this game. Did it feel to you, as it did to me, that maybe they were a little bit soft in what they were lining up with on defense? Almost like they were protecting the lead rather than trying to make a play. And now that lead... It's down to just one score. Aubrey now for the PAT. And that'll cut the lead down now to a touchdown. So that drive, four plays. And it was finished off by a Jalen Tolbert touchdown grab. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. So now out comes this offense led by their quarterback as they take over once more. And this defense might be about ready to wave the white flag. Nothing they have tried to throw at him has been that successful. He just processes things so quickly and makes a right read seemingly every time. The Tampa offense ready to get their drive started. Their lead back down to one score after the touchdown a moment ago. First downs a must on this drive as they start out here first and ten. They're going to snuff this play out behind the line. We have not seen that much today. And they have just not been able to block him at all throughout this game. Seems like every other play, he's doing something in the backfield. Already got two sacks. And now here's a tackle behind the line. Palmer going to go in motion left. Mayfield looks to throw. Over the middle, it's complete. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 14 yards there and a Buccaneer first down. What an intelligent play as he found open grass and uncovered quickly. A nice clutch play to move the chains. The defense, they've got to do a much better job of accounting for these shorter routes. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. 
They defer to White out of the shotgun. Taken down at the 42. Now I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. Play action now. Here's Mayfield. Loose inside the 30. And down to the 27-yard line. It'll go as an impressive 31-yard gain. Well, as my dad would say sometimes, I'm just scratching my head here trying to figure out what was going on there defensively. How did you lose him in the middle of the field? If you're going to lose a receiver, make sure it's someone on the short side of things, not deep downfield, that can hurt your defense. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 27. On the give, it's White. Dances by at the 20. And that's just a solid, good physical run there as he motors for nine yards. If you can keep getting gains like that, Charles, with the lead here in the fourth quarter, I mean, keep running it, right? No doubt about it. But what the offense coordinator has to do is understand they're going to continue to stack the line of scrimmage. What runs do you have in your arsenal that'll work against a stacked box and continue to move the ball? Mayfield. Little out route here, complete to Shepard. And he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. These two have hooked up nine times now this afternoon as they pick up the first. But they've certainly not shied away from throwing the footballs. They've leaned on their quarterback to start this game. Four straight passes right out of the gate with that last one earning them a new set of downs. White. Touchdown, Buccaneers. And that right there is a definition of a statement drive. You're in the fourth quarter, trying to get to the finish line, and here they were able to hold the ball for a long time and move it down the field. And how about them finishing it off with the touchdown run? Winning football 101, check that box. McLaughlin now to add the PAT. And the lead is up to 14. So that drives seven plays in length. And it was Rashad White who wrapped the drive up with a touchdown run. Following the touchdown, here's McLaughlin to kick off. And they'll have very good starting field position as he's up just shy of the 40. The Cowboys about set to take over on offense. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. First play of the drive going for 14 and a first down. All right, this is the time of the game where they're down a couple of scores, and they've really got to get some yards in chunks, and they know the defense doesn't want to give those up, but they've got to find a way to take them anyway. Now the question is, can they string a few of those together? Rush. Right back to Tolbert. That's good. The completion there for seven yards at its second down. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Second down and three. Here's Rush to throw. His throw incomplete. Well, he certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. A 
The Cowboys on third down. Five out of nine thus far. Here it's third and three. Back to 